we are going to teach you this wonderful expression which is get someone ready for something do you know the meaning of get someone ready for something if you don't know this is the right time for you to get this wonderful lesson before this is the word of today which is ache ache verb to ache means what ache means to suffer the pain to suffer the pain that is to ache kubabara that is to ache nyuma to get a headache stomach ache back ache this word ache can be a verb it's a verb which means to suffer the pain kubabara kujira ububabare that is to ache even the verb to pain does exist to ache for example i can say yesterday i was aching my leg okay or yesterday my leg was aching which means that i was suffering from my leg ejo ukuguru kwari kuri kunja nari ndi kubabara ukuguru yesterday my leg was aching do you get it very fantastic uh, then here after getting the lesson we are going to teach you this expression which is get someone ready for something before teaching you this lesson i recommend you to subscribe please if you love english if you want english if you want to develop or to level up your level in english language try your best to subscribe if you are a new student do that immediately ni buri mushya bikora kakanya na mahirwe yawe akomeye kugira ngo ujibone aya masomo nutabikora mujyo kuri ngubwije kuri nabwo uzazamura urwego neza kuko amasomo uzaje yabona rimwe mu kwezi cyangwa yabona vanga vanze ariko nanone nsaba abantu batajya babona amasomo uko akurikirana ni munyandikire ese kugwa amasomo uko akurikirana ntago isomo rya mbere rya kabiri ukajumbaza nibibazo utumvise ku masomo runaka ibyo utumvise ukanyoherereza ibintu bibiri bitanu bigutwaye iki hey my dear friends <laughs> Eh wewe wewe ushobora kohereza n'igihumba wonga ukavuga ariko teach agenda ashaka kuzajya umpaya amasomo neza uko kurikirana. Hey why not? Just I, I'm not begging <laughs> sindi kubasaba ariko it's very important. Ushobora no kuvuga kuti teach andagira ngo nge ni gisomo nimara kuryiga nuno unsobanure kubyo ntumvise cyangwa cyangwa umpe izindi ngero. I am here for you ndaha kugira ngo ngufashe. Buy me soda only wengurira gusa igicupa kinini cya cya soda kiriya kikiguriya cyatano hano akamagana ne wapi magana ne ntabwo akigura soda <laughs> yes then to get someone ready for that is the lesson we are going to be talking about just now to get someone ready for no gutegura umuntu twabonye ko to get ready ari ukwitegura to be ready no kuba amaze kwitegura to get someone ready for ni kubugiye gutegura umuntu none kugira ngo akore ikintu runaka good but i have another announcement before i start the second announcement is to buy the books please buy english books the third announcement is to come and learn english both on zoom the third announcement is to come and learn english either on zoom or in the class in a physical class the third is to send our lessons to your people next to get someone ready for this is a wonderful lesson i tell you the truth gutegura umuntu kugira ngo akore ikintu runaka to get someone ready for is to prepare someone to do something that is the definition that is the meaning to get someone ready for is to prepare someone to do something bishatse kuvuga iki iyo uvuze ngo i'm going to get you ready for eating 
I'm going to get my kid ready for eating. Niyo vangu njie guteguru ngana wanje atangire kurija. Wenda ndatangira mchinisha yinjire murimudu ngere kutunu kujira mwa atangire kurija yishi ni afita peti. If you, you, you get someone ready for something, you are preparing that person or those people to do something. Examples. Guteguru munu is to get someone ready for something. Ahari someone, turajatu ashira, me, you, them. Okay? Ahari, ahari someone, shuaraku ashira, you, them, him, her, things like that. It's time to get children ready for bed. These children have replaced this word someone to get children ready for bed or to get them hmm? to get them because children are many this is the third person plural it's time to get children ready for bed it's time to get children ready for bed or it's time to get them if you don't want to mention these children you can put them there it's time to get them ready for bed nice here you can say if you want him to do this job very well get him ready for it mutegure agakorenez if you want him to do this job very well get him ready for it okay or if you want john to do this job very well get him ready for it nibushaka ko john agukora kazi neza banza umutegure mwerekere ibikorwa mu kazi get get him ready for it for it then here we have another example we have two people here the first one is saying, do you want, do you want your children to get good marks in national examinations? Do you want your children to get good marks in national examinations? Yes, I do. Please get them ready for these exams. Please get them ready for these exams. To get someone ready for doing something. That is what we are talking about. Please get her ready before you start this action. Yes, you can say that. Yes, get someone ready for doing so, something good. Then here you can say, uh, just, I got him ready before he started the job. Get him kagot. I got him ready before he started the job. I got him ready before you started the job the job i got him ready before he started the job then this is the next example you can say before you name her as a managing director of this company please get her ready for this position before you name her as a managing director of this company, please get her ready for this position. Mbere yuko umwimi kachango se umuhiri zina ryokuba umuhitire yokuba managing director umuyobozi wi company. Banza umutegure kuri uyu mwanya atazabyamba ibintu atazabivanga banga before you name her as a managing director of this company please first of all get her ready for this position this is a very good example a very good sentence nice then the last one is this one 
They failed to fulfill their responsibilities. They failed to fulfill to fulfill no kuzuza gushira mu bikorwa. Yes. They failed to fulfill their responsibilities because no one got them ready. They failed to fulfill their responsibilities because no one got them ready. That seems great. Kuzuza inshingano zabo kuko nta numwe wabateguye to get someone ready for example i can say tomorrow i will get my students ready before they sit on english exam ejo nzategura abanyeshuri banje mbere yuko bicara ku kizamini cy'icyongereza then after we are going to see the part the next part of our lesson if you you've understood it very well have you grasped this lesson very well bisomo mwabyumvise mwabyumvise neza uyu ni umwanya rero wo kugira gute wo kumva saying imvugo y'uyu munsi nubundi irajyana niri somo kugira ngo ryumve neza mu cyongereza in english we say cyongereza turavuga ngo get ready to be strong because no one else will get you ready for being strong get ready to be strong because no one else will get you ready for being strong what does it mean nyumva ngo wo witegure kuba umuntu ufite imbaraga igirira imbaraga wumve kukomeye kuko nta wundi muntu uzagutegura no one else will get you ready for being strong kuko nta wundi uzagutegura kuba umunyembaraga ni wowe ugomba kubyishakamo i am teacher jasper we are together and don't forget to subscribe and to learn english please if you need lessons ni ukene ya masomo gerageza umpamagare tuvugane nshobora no kujya gusohanura masomo neza nkaguyingero zindi zimbitse Bye bye.